If you had x-ray vision, what would you look inside of first? The photographer who took these images has spent a lot of time x-raying underwear. I'm a bit of an expert on underwear. <laughs> Nick Vesey is an artist based in the UK, but today he's at an industrial park in Long Island, New York, renting out this blue box. It has lead walls and was specially built for taking x-rays of airplane parts to make sure they're working properly. But Nick Vesey is here for a different reason. I'm here working on an art project for Victoria's Secret. Funny enough, they asked him to x-ray plants, not underwear. Should we go and have a look? Look, go and have a look. Ready? So we've got two x-ray machines. Here is my baby Russian x-ray machine. VZ actually got this through customs. It's a um, very low-powered x-ray machine, as you can see by the cable that runs to it. Compare that with the cord on the other machine which is a high-powered x-ray machine. Current, or charged electrons, are shot into this tube, which is filled with heavy metal. When the electrons hit the metal, they slow down, and that change in energy is given off as an x-ray. The x-rays come out of that hole. Then the x-ray sensitive film goes here, and the subject matter is arranged on top. The image is created based on how much radiation makes it through the object and to the film. But why are x-rays able to get through objects at all? For a quick explanation, we turn to x-ray expert Thomas Devereaux. Okay, let's take a hand. Why can x-rays get through, but visible light can't? Right. You send the visible light in, and it gets absorbed by hitting atoms or hitting off of the uh, electrons. But with x-rays, which are a thousand times greater energy than visible light, they can withstand giving up some of their energy. So the x-ray gives up part of its energy, and then just passes right through. Too many x-rays can be dangerous. When they pass through the body, they can set off chemical reactions, which is why this box has lead walls to stop the x-rays. And the reason lead stops them has to do with its density. If the material is denser, then you have a more probability of being absorbed by the, the larger atoms. When you're penetrating a plant, you don't need much power to penetrate it. When you're penetrating a grapefruit, because it's thicker and it's full of water, you need more radiation to penetrate it. And all the x-rays are done in life size, even this one. That, that was over a thousand x-rays and three months of work. I, I create a picture by taking something apart and putting it back together. Literally taking it apart. The plane comes to me in a container, in bits. Each part is marked, you know, wingtip, engine, whatever, you know, landing gear. And then I have to sort of put it all back together. Put together in Photoshop, which is where the skeletons are added, and any color. If that sounds complicated, Nature x-rays can be challenging, too. The thing about nature is that it always surprises you, and you can't force it. It grows naturally how it grows. You can help it. You can bend it back a bit and play with it, but it is what it is, and um, I love that, that it's not a man-made thing where you can re-engineer it to make the picture look beautiful. Here, nature's the boss. Once the subject matter is arranged, VZ leaves the room, sets the time and voltage using this box. Here we go and that red button turns on the x-ray machine. After the x-raying, the film is taken into the dark room, it's developed, and voila. We see the results of all this work. And this is a, it's a bit of a mess, the actual picture, but it's just a, a preparatory test to show the definition of what we're trying to achieve, and it's fantastic, I'm really pleased with it. I'm a great believer in reading the rule book and then throwing it away. Very often nothing happens, but occasionally the thing that does happen takes us to somewhere where no one's been before. And that's what we're all trying to achieve, all us artists, all us scientists, we're all trying to do something different. For more of VZ's work, check out his new book, X-Ray. For Science Friday, I'm Flora Lichtman.